of course I need Baccarat. <laughs> but my wallet was looking at me, and I was looking at it, and it was looking at me, and after pain was looking at me, and I was like, huh? And then Hey you guys, what's poppin'? Don't tell my man I've been shopping, okay? Listen, what did I buy now? We are here to talk about designer fragrances that my ass has been purchasing. Uh, I did wanna do a good mix of some like Zara ones, some Ariana Grande's, okay? We got some affordable ones in here. And then we also have some Valentino. You know, we got, we got it. So let's get right into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Okay, so we're gonna actually kick it off with Cloud by Ariana Grande. Now, this is a sweet Lactonic fragrance. It's musky, it's almondy, it's delicious, it's gourmand. You guys, this is so sexy. It has been acclaimed as a Baccarat dupe. Uh, I do, I get it. Baccarat definitely is the more high class family member. However, she is the, she's trying her best here, okay? She's the college student. I'll say that Baccarat is the established lawyer auntie. And this is the, you know, 20 year old college student. She trying, she trying to get hers too. Definitely, definitely in the same family. But uh, this one is just way more affordable and just way easier to get your hands on overall. Um, sure, I'm about to spray some on right now, actually. I definitely have put a dent in this bad boy. I love it, okay? Uh, let me show y'all. Look at this dent. Look at this dent. I said this was almondy. It's actually coconutty. My bad, y'all. Uh, so the top notes are lavender, pear, and bergamot. The middle notes are whipped cream, praline, coconut, and vanilla orchid. And the base notes are musk and woody notes. So absolutely no saffron in here. This doesn't have remotely, God, this plant. This doesn't remotely have the same notes as a Baccarat, but some way, somehow it does smell like a relative. I'm telling you, it's, really really good i actually received cloud as a gift um so i think i mean we all know how much it is this is affordable you can get it at marshall's tj maxx i see cloud everywhere it's super super affordable i'd say 50 bucks maybe or less you could even get it from kohl's next we have another baccarat dupe <laughs> This is Red Temptation from Zara, you guys. My bottle is so beat up. For some reason, I kept dropping it. I don't even know why. So it leaks out really badly whenever I do try to spray it. It's terrible, I done ruined it. But this was only $25. This whole bottle was $25. I think this one is now $29.99 now. I think they went up like a few dollars, but still super affordable. Y'all, let me show y'all how jacked up my bottle is. Do you see how the nozzle is crooked? Terrible shame, but I still love this though. Let me spray a little bit on this. This is a Baccarat uh, dupe day, and you see it's leaking out like my fingers. So, um, listen, I'm clumsy. Anyways, y'all, this actually has saffron in it. It's a all de parfum. Uh, really great quality. I'm very impressed with Zara for this perfume. They put their booty, feet, hands, everything in this, okay? They, they was not playing when they came to this. I actually smelled this on someone as I was shopping in Free People. So, super random. I was like, oh girl, what you got on? And she was like, listen, let me put you on. She told me to sign up for the newsletter because this thing right here is always sold out. And I signed up. Randomly one day, I think two weeks later, I got an email like, it's in stock. And I swear to God, in the middle of the night, I like, when I opened, I was ordering it. And I was like, done, ship, love this stuff. So y'all, Zara is ghetto. They didn't put the notes all in one big old paragraph. So I'm just gonna try to pick it apart for you guys. It uh, has saffron in it, coriander, bitter orange, and it also has jasmine in it. It has white flowers. It has praline accord, 
It has moss, woody notes, and amber notes. Um, yeah, it's delicious. Next, we have Idole by Lancome. Now, y'all, everybody and their mother love this fragrance. However, so many people complain about its uh, bottle design. Y'all, they made a skinny mini looks like a book, a cell phone, whatever uh, type of bottle. And they was trying to be different and unique and people were realizing they could not stand it upwards. So it was really frustrating. It was very inconvenient for people. Y'all, I done lucked out. They changed it. It can stand up now. All right, can stand up now. I got this on sale from Lancome during like Cyber Monday. Y'all know me. I'm gonna catch it on sale, okay? I love it. I got the big boy bottle because it was on sale. Why wouldn't I? Um, I love Edo. It's so feminine. It's so girly, so sexy. It's very beautiful. It's very much a pretty girl fragrance. It's not big boss. It's not rich boss lady. You know, it's not that. It's really dainty beautiful girl fragrance. I love Edo. It's very floral, so sweet, so delicate. It's just absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. I would say Edo is blind by safe. I mean, you know, it's, it's just one of those fragrances that everyone likes. It's a huge compliment getter. Every time I wear it, I get compliments. Oh, that, that smells really pretty because it does, you know? So the notes on Edo are bergamot, juicy pear, pink peppercorn. Middle notes are rose and jasmine. Base notes are white musk, vanilla, patchouli, and cedarwood. It's a very floral, woody, warm fragrance. Y'all, it's so delicate. If you're a pretty girl, you know, you like pink a lot and all that, like you're a girly girl, you should be wearing Edo. That should be your signature scent, okay? Like, it's such a beautiful feminine fragrance. Next, we might as well keep it in the Lancome family. This is La Vie Est Belle. <laughs> Y'all tell me how to pronounce it down below, okay? I don't know how to pronounce stuff. I, I, I'm still learning how to pronounce things in an American accent. I know y'all can't tell because like, I do it well, I've been here for a while. I am not from here, okay? I am full-blooded Nigerian. I was born there and my accent is nuts. And <laughs> This is not my real accent, okay? That's what you guys meet on this video every day is not my real accent. <laughs> so this is La Vie S. Belle. You guys, this is a floral, sweet, vanilla fragrance. It's a pretty girl fragrance like Edo, but sexy. This is the sexy, like, more mature sister of Idol. This one isn't as innocent as Idol. It just has way more sex appeal. It's delicious, it's edible. It has an amazing scent trail. Another compliment getter. For some reason, the fragrance community be hating on this. For some reason, I, I don't get it. Like, what is that about? Like, can y'all can y'all put me? I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. I love it. I I think I'm just biased because I actually purchased this when it first first came out. It was my first little designer fragrance that I bought my own coin. I was at Macy's and the um, counter girl was like, "Hey, girl, smell this," and I was like, "Okay." I was super young, and so. I love this, okay? So the top note is iris, middle note is patchouli, and then the base notes are spun sugar and warm vanilla. So pretty simple. I expected it to be a little more complex than that. Um, This smells way more complex than that. Like what? <laughs> you guys, I think it's blind by worthy. Um, another pretty girl fragrance, but it's sensual. It's sexy so it's not wide-eyed innocent floral dress no you got some cleavage with this perfume okay this is a sexy sexy fragrance and of course i got it on sale because what full price that's against my religion all right next we have another zara fragrance this is the tuberous Nure and got it on sale. 
I got it during the Zara sale. Y'all know the one, the really big sale they be having. Uh, I got this for like $7. Shoot, something crazy like that. It was super, super cheap. I didn't like this at first. I was like, I'm a little old lady. Like, it's the two girls, you know? But it's not. It's not giving Chanel number no. five. No shade to y'all of y'all. Chanel number no. five. It's not giving that. It is. It's really nice. It's a, another pretty girl. So this is like a professor. But not just any professor. Like the AKA pretty professor. I'm tired of this. Like I'm tired of it. Okay, y'all. I'm back. So this is the pretty professor who's an AKA and she's bougie. She's wearing this, okay? It's actually pretty long lasting to have been so cheap. It's really, really nice. I think this was part of the Jo, jo Malone collaboration. I really, really like it, you guys. It's a very well blended fragrance and it's super affordable. It doesn't get better than this. You can see my little dent and y'all know I have a good amount of fragrances now, so you know, let me let me spray some more. Mm. I'm just spraying everything on. This is like kind of beast mode. That was three spritz and I smell it like whoa. This is really good. Another compliment getter, another pretty girl fragrance. And this is a bougie girl fragrance. Another like on Wednesdays we were pink type of girl, but on a little more of a mature level. This is like 25 and older, okay? For you to really appreciate this. I love this fragrance. So you guys, it has just one level of fragrance notes and that is two rows, big shocker there, uh, Alang Alang and Sandalwood. So it's very delicious. It's warm, rosy, floral. I love it. It's very, very, like a womanly fragrance, if that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense, I hope I'm making So like Charlotte from Sex and the City, she would love this fragrance. She, it's a classical woman fragrance, okay? Like, am I making sense? Next, you guys, we have Burberry Her. Look at this. I didn't beat this thing up. I have beat this thing up. And you, my man actually bought me this. Y'all, I didn't beat it up. Another one that has been deemed as like a Baccarat dupe. Like, do y'all see a theme here? Is that me? Or do, I, do I need Baccarat? Of course I need Baccarat. <laughs> but my wallet was looking at me, and I was looking at it, and it was looking at me, and Afterpay was looking at me, and I was like, huh? And they was like, no. So, I don't have Baccarat. <laughs> In conclusion, I just can't bring myself to do it. Not yet, y'all, not yet. I'm on the way, I'm on the way. So I actually had the Burberry Her Intense, which I didn't know until I was seeing other people talk about their Burberry Hers, and I was like, why y'all might have looked different? And then I was like, uh, I have the Intense. So the top notes are red fruits and blackberry. Super juicy already. Middle notes is jasmine, and the base note is benzoin. So not a whole lot of notes here, but it's fruity, it's delicious, it's sweet, it's juicy. Um, I wouldn't say it's a Baccarat dupe. I don't get those vibes. However, it could be it's more playful cousin. Like I get why people are like picking up Baccarat hints from Burberry Her, but I don't think they smell alike really, you know? It's like, those cousins that don't really, they don't look like you for real, but you know, they're still family. I, I could see that. I keep using these family member analogies for these fragrances, y'all. I hope y'all are understanding. I'm just trying to paint a picture for y'all. <laughs> so um, yeah, that was Burberry Her. Not a whole lot to say. It's pretty feminine. It's a very girly fragrance. It's fruity, it's juicy. Another compliment getter. Y'all, the way that Zara Tuberose New York is going crazy on me right now, it's beast mode. No, Jo Malone went crazy on that. It's beast mode. I cannot believe the price I got it for. This is such a high quality perfume. I jumped to the previous perfume. I'm sorry, y'all. I just had to preach about that really quick because I am 
engulfed in it. Like, it took over. And I sprayed two other perfumes prior. F that. That Zara, crazy. So next, y'all, we have Valentino, Donna, born in Roma, of course. Now, this is so sensual, so grown woman, boss vibes. Look, this is a strong, potent fragrance. It's so, so good. I love it. I got it during the Sephora sale. Got it for 20, uh, yeah, 20% off. Worth every penny. You know, I had to get the big dog. I had to get the big, big dog because it was on sale. <laughs> um, you guys, this is such a good fragrance. And I love the bottle. It's so pretty. Like, what? Talk about girly. It's really, really feminine. It's woody. It's uh, fruity. It's floral. It's everything. It's vanilla-y. <laughs> it's this fragrance just has about everything in it. Oh, my dog just woke up from his nap. Hi, Boo Boo Bear. Oh, hey, Boo Boo. Okay. Let me let y'all say hi. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh, Boo Boo. This is Rock Bar. Hi. <laughs> say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Hey, mommy subscribers. Hi. The cutest. Oh, I love you. So y'all, the top notes are black currant, pink pepper, bergamot. Middle notes are jasmine, jasmine, some back, and jasmine tea. Dang, the middle part is just jasmine down. Like, that's crazy. Uh, the base notes are bourbon vanilla, cashmere, and Booyak wood, listen, it smells good, okay? <laughs> I would spray it, but that two girls in your going crazy. Like, I just, I can't spray anything else. But look at the glow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Love Valentino, Donna Born in Roma. I almost forgot about this one, y'all. I didn't have my black opium bottle with me, so I am adding it in here while editing. Black opium is so sweet, so juicy. Another sexy fragrance doesn't last. Men love this one. The top note is coffee. The middle note is uh, white flowers. And the top note is vanilla. Very simple. But y'all, it smells so intricate on the skin. So delicious. So gourmand. I just wish it performed better. They just came out with an extreme version. Have y'all smelled that? Let me know down below. Okay, guys. Lastly, we have... Moonlight by Ariana Grande. Y'all, this is a classic. I think this is like probably everyone's beginner perfume. Uh, it smells so good. I will say the Ariana Grande perfumes do not last. You, you do get what you pay for with these. Whereas with that Zara, honey, you, you didn't get what you paid for, okay? This fades immediately. I did really like it at some point in time, so now I don't want to be like snobbish. Like, huh? I've moved on to niche now. It's fruity, it's sweet, it's floral. Uh, it has some marshmallow in here. Just a very, very girly girl fragrance. Uh, it does disappear as soon as you put it on. It doesn't give you much of a central scent bubble. Uh, honestly, you better off with a Bath and Body Works uh, fragrance mist than this, okay? This doesn't perform well, but I still be spraying it down because it does smell good in theory. It just, they could have done a little more. They could have tried, like, dang. I feel like Cloud, you can at least smell that for five minutes, but like, this goes as soon as it comes out the bottle, okay? Like, so the notes for this is Plum and black currant, and then the middle note is marshmallow and peony, and then the base notes are vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. So warm, fruity, you know, floral, nice, yummy, sweet fragrance. I just wish it performed better. That's all. if you really love the Killian uh, Love Don't Be Shy, but she cannot afford it. This would be another good marshmallowy fragrance that's sweet that you can rock and um, would satisfy that craving a little because it doesn't perform 
half as good as the Killian Love Don't Be Shy. So it'll only satisfy that craving just a little. <laughs> However, I still felt the need to add it onto this list because I wanted to go off of a bunch of different price points for you guys. So that's it, y'all. Um, really quickly, I do want to shout out. It's just Tori for your fragrance mist request. Um, I am working on it. I just placed a huge order with Bath & Body Works, which pissed me off. I will tell y'all about that experience on that video. Mm. Mm. Very, very much. It was giving frustrating. But I do have some fragrance mists on the way, so I do want to try those out and see, um, you know, if they get some compliments and whatnot before I film the Fragrance Smiths video, just in case some of those perform really well and, you know, I don't wanna like leave them out. So be on the lookout for that. I am gonna be filming it here really soon. So I'm really excited for you to see it. And yeah, the rest of y'all, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate the love. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate the support and I will see y'all next time.